Welcome back. India's manufacturing sector is likely to sustain its growth momentum for the next six to nine months. The survey also highlights that existing average capacity utilization of over 70 percent reflects sustained economic activity. As per the survey, 94 percent respondents said they are facing a rise in production cost, but 61 percent respondents also reported higher production levels in Q2. Amit Singhal, CEO Asian Paints, now joins us on the program. Uh, Amit Singhal, let me begin by asking you, the Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry believes that the growth momentum will continue over the next three to four months or even six months. Give us a sense of some of the major challenges that you feel are there for India's manufacturing sector right now. So overall, I think the good news in the headline is that uh, the surveys reveal that the next uh, six to nine months, uh, there is a very strong uh, confidence in the manufacturing sector that uh, we are looking at, uh, you know, uh, increased growth and overall quantum of manufacturing going up very, very strongly. In fact, 61% uh, of the respondents uh, reported a higher production for the quarter two in terms of what we see. And uh, in fact, more than 50% recorded a higher growth in quarter two, which has just kind of been over. So what we see is, I think, while there is a very strong momentum in terms of the growth prospects and how people are looking at in terms of going forward, uh, there is definitely a concern in terms of the overall uh, inflation in terms of what has come in uh, in the environment. Uh, today, if you look at the entire Forex uh, with the uh, rupee weakening, I think that is another uh, kind of uh, uh, constraint which people are seeing in terms of which can kind of really contribute to possibly hassles in terms of uh, going forward. Uh, people are also saying that uh, when we look at the whole area of the rate of interest and how it kind of really augurs with the Fed kind of hiking up the rates. So overall for the future, how it will kind of augur. But in general, what we see is that uh, there is a larger kind of positiveness around in terms of whether it is labor availability, whether it is capacity utilization, or even in terms mm -hmm. of people wanting to put up more capacity as we kind of go forward to that extent. So I think the larger propensity seems right. to be a more positive uh, despite some of these factors which I just spoke of. Right. Uh, if I would ask you about the demand momentum continuing, we saw a very strong demand for uh, in the retail sector in the month of October during the festive period. Do you think this demand momentum is going to continue? Uh, if, if we were to ask you about the demand in uh, uh, rural versus urban areas, how, how would you describe that? So overall, as we look at, uh, you know, the rural demand was definitely affected if we look at possibly the Q4 of last year and some bit of Q1 to that extent. What we have seen in general is that in quarter two, there has been some resurgence in terms of the rural demand in certain sectors uh, specifically, which has come in. And if you look at uh, more the sectors with respect to the core sectors like cement and construction chemicals and uh, areas like that, that is something which is seeing a resurgence. We are also seeing possibly some good results at the end of uh, the FMCG industries also showing a certain consumption which has come in. But overall, the I think the resurgence has been very strong in the automotive sector and the auto parts. I think that has been one big sector which we are seeing a resurgence, resurgence all across, whether it is the T1, T2 cities or it is the rural cities in terms of the tier 3, tier 4 cities to that extent. I think the monsoon has been uh, fairly strong mm -hmm. and we see a good resurgence uh, and the consumer sentiment in the rural going up and we are seeing whether it is the area of chemical and fertilizers or it is in terms of looking at some of the uh, heavy machinery and uh, uh, the tractor sales and so on and so forth that component i think that is looking definitely far more positive in terms of what people are seeing and i think uh, it is all augering towards the fact right. that uh, i think some of the demand will continue and the rural sector will do kind of well Okay, my, my final question before we end, uh, which sectors do you think will see the highest amount of hiring? Okay, so I think uh, auto is the uh, biggest favorite today as we are seeing the automotive segment and the auto parts, I think uh, is talking of a very strong resurgence. We have seen very strong growths in October also augering in terms of they registering uh, almost 30 to 40% kind of growths overall coming to that extent. I think the other segments which uh, are... Uh, 
uh, survey indicates is the textile sector and the textile ma machinery sector. I think that's another thing which where we have seen a very, very strong resurgence in terms of the demand which comes in. But nonetheless, even if you look at some of the other sectors, be it in terms of uh, the fertilizers, the pharma, and uh, in terms of the cement, electronics, and metal and metal other parts, they are talking of a moderate kind of a growth in terms of the times to come to that extent. But clearly, auto is the favorite uh, for sure. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Amit Singhal, for joining us, giving us your view on Fiki's manufacturing survey, the headwinds uh, that the manufacturing sector faces, and some of the plus points for the next few months as well. With that, it's a wrap on this edition of News Center. The news continues on CNBC TV 18. Stay tuned. is trade finance being re